Hey guys, it's your guy, Turtle Guy. Today, I am back with another random review. And today, I will be randomly reviewing a TV show. Oh wait, I did that last time, but anyway. Today, I will be reviewing Lucifer. Now, shout out to Cross Void Films, because he actually kind of, well, he mentioned this film once, and not film, sorry, TV show. He mentioned it, saying it was pretty good. I think this was in or around the time where it was cancelled. No, this was before it got cancelled, but anyway. He was on about the show, so I decided to go check it out. And it was definitely worth my while. And, dare I say, it's one of the shows where I love all the characters. Everyone in it was pretty good. The acting was amazing. The characters... And this show didn't need that m Okay, there are bits with CGI, but let's give the overall premise of Lucifer. So it's basically Satan goes on holiday to get away from hell. Um, now he's, he is requested multiple times to go back. He doesn't. So then, when a tragedy unfolds, he befriends a detective, Chloe Decker. Now, I really like Chloe Decker, and when I first saw the first episode, I'm like, this may be my favorite character. And as the episode, as the series went on, I got more and more characters I just loved. Even characters that come across as wanting you to hate them, I'm like, why do I like this character so much? The episodes were pretty good. There's no major plot. Well, there is a major... Okay. So, it's not one in which... If you missed an episode... Okay, maybe it kind of is. But there's no... Okay, you do have to watch it in order. And there is a bit of a running plot sometimes. But there... I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like CSI, but with a bit more of a plot, and with the devil. So, speaking of the devil, let's go into more of the characters. So, we got Lucifer Morningstar. I loved this. The minute you see him, I don't know, he just does this amazing thing. The first scene he's in, just see him roaring through in his car, and he's just... I don't know, I, there's just something about the character and the way he's done. I love this character. And the one of the major things I loved about this character was how he could just turn on a dime from being friendly and then go just so dark in an instant was amazing. Then we have Chloe Decker, the detective as I mentioned. Very good. I like this character. Kind of like a no-nonsense cop. Then we got Detective Dan Decker, also called Detective Douche. Again, I love this character. They kind of put him as a bit of a villain in this season, but I still liked him. Um, yes, and then we have Amenadiel. Now, I will say for the first few episodes, I didn't know how to pronounce his name, but I liked it. Amenadiel. Just so cool, and you don't see much of him in the first few episodes, but he does improve. Speaking of a character you don't really see much in the first few episodes, Mazakin. This is probably one of my top three characters. Well, Lucifer is also one of my top three characters. Again, I just loved <laughs> Mazakin. She was so... I don't know, there's just something about her that I really like. And... In the next few seasons, you do get to see a lot of her. Now, the next character... Okay, I'm gonna skip that character. Trixie. So, this is Chloe's daughter. Um, so, the first... She's not in the season that much, which I kind of don't like. But... She just... Again, another scene stealer. Absolutely loved her. Then we have the therapist, Linda. Again, she's, I wouldn't say in my top three characters are like, 
But in this show, I like all the characters. I don't know what it is. It's like... Now you're probably saying, isn't that not what you're supposed to do in all the shows? I mean, okay, yes. Some shows... It's hard to describe. So, I'm going to use Legends over here as an example. So, in Legends, I like most of the characters, but there are certain... There's a certain one I don't really like, or just a certain trait about a character I don't like. Now, that's a little teaser for my Legends <laughs> random review. But anyway, in Lucifer, I just loved everything. The premise of the devil, just great. Um, if anything, I didn't like. Maybe the ending was a tad rushed. The last two episodes felt like they were trying so hard to rush something. Eh. And you kind of go, oh, that's a bit rushed. That doesn't seem, that doesn't seem a bit realistic. That's the only thing. I don't, I think that's just the only thing I didn't like. Everything else was great. The acting was brilliant. CGI was, eh. I will say the CGI for certain things was a tad off. Like, you kind of know this wouldn't have had a big CGI, but it was good. Now, I will be reviewing Lucifer in the future. I've just finished season two, and I'm just going to sit on it a while, think of a better review, maybe. Season two, just each season of this show improves in ways I can't even, in ways you can't even imagine. So, if you see Lucifer... You know, or if you want to check out a new show, you're like, eh, what am I going to watch? I'd definitely give Lucifer a watch. It's not that dark, as you can imagine. So, what did I give Lucifer? I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Why am I removing a spot? Well, I don't know. This first season was definitely a step in the right direction, and it does improve at times, but I don't know, there was certain things you kind of feel it does rush, in my opinion, now you're probably saying, ah, oh, what are you on about, oh yeah, you're crazy, certain things it rushes, other things, I don't know, some things maybe weren't a bit developed, and some things were like, oh, they don't, they don't have the CGI to do that, that's why we haven't seen it, but uh, in the next few seasons, well, not the next few seasons, there's only... At the minute, there are three seasons, but they have been renewed on Netflix. And, yeah, it's definitely an interesting show. So, yeah, this is Turtle Guide saying, saying bye, and just, yeah, check out Lucifer. Great show, I would recommend. So this is your guy, Turtle Guy, saying bye, guys!